Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic. So I'm a big uh, science fiction fan and especially old sci-fi movies. I like watching old sci-fi movies. But one thing I always notice with a lot of old sci-fi movies from the 30s and 40s and 50s and then into the 60s even is the ship design. Now the ships will either look like a saucer like this here, the Jupiter 2, or a rocket like this here from uh, this rocket from Buck Rogers and uh, so you see that over and over again uh, so this another saucer again from Forbidden Planet another rocket again from Flash Gordon so they're they didn't seem to really care or just didn't want to really deviate too much from the design of the, of, of the ships until Star Trek came along and blew the lid off of uh, starship designs for tv shows it was really way ahead of its time to design and uh, it was a game changer I mean, we kind of take it for granted now but at the time it was was definitely a game changer and uh, gene roddenberry he must have been really sick of rockets and saucers because when matt jeffries was designing the Inter enterprise he told him he didn't want anything that looked like a rocket or a saucer and, uh, but they kind of gave him something that looks like a saucer attached to three rockets. <laughs> but still a gorgeous design. And uh, one of my personal favorite designs in Star Trek, besides the uh, original Enterprise, is the Klingon Battle Cruiser. I just love this design. It's one of my favorite Starship designs of all time. I think it just has uh, such an iconic classic look and it just it looks powerful and menacing. And uh, you can see here, this is one from the original series. And then also that opening sequence in the motion picture. I, I love that opening se sequence with the Klingon battle cruisers headed towards uh, the V'ger cloud. And then, you know, it's been tweaked over the years, but pretty much it stayed the same. It's basic design. Well, I guess uh, in uh, Star Trek Discovery, they're going to go back to the old Klingon battle cruiser design. They're going to ditch all those hideous Klingon ships that they had in season one. And so they've released an image today of the Klingon battle cruiser and what it's going to look like in Star Trek Discovery Season 2. Here it is. So this is what uh, the image that dropped. So you can't really see a lot. It's, uh, you know, you kind of got the, the text in the way you can, and you can only under see the undersides of the ship. But it's kind of the basic shape of a Klingon battle cruiser. Uh, so the elements are there, but definitely redesigned for sure they have that legal stipulation everything has to be or the whole copyright thing where everything has to be 25 percent different which is kind of a big pain uh, so this is kind of an interesting looking design um, i kind of want to see more of it see what it looks like and then have like a comparison uh, i would rather they have stuck closer to the original series or what we what we know the klingon battle cruisers to look like uh, but still, this is a much better look than what they had in season one for the ships. At least we look when you look at this, there's no guessing. You know right away it's a Klingon ship, and uh, this could easily work as um, if it was in Prime. It could be like a different class of Klingon ship, like maybe uh, one grade up from a battle cruiser. Uh, so it's uh, an interesting looking ship. Um, it looks like really, uh, one thing I do kind of like about it is how the underside is kind of lit up with all the red. I think that's kind of cool looking. So uh, what do you think? Is Do you think this is a right step for Discovery or do you think it's still just the whole, the show is just a complete disaster? So let me know what you think in the comments section and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers and thank you for watching this video and if you're new to the channel like subscribe and share and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.